today with all of you to celebrate the wedding of Linda Makkadi and Stuart Parker. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Giuseppe, and I have known Linda since high school when we used to travel together on music trips. In the somewhat unwelcoming environment of a private British school in Maryland, Linda accepted me immediately, and we became fast friends. Her open heart, her loyal friendship, and her affection have meant everything to me, and I am honored to be a part of this group. I was not lucky enough to meet Stuart in high school, but I've had the pleasure of meeting, of getting to know those who did. Through volleyball, Stuart met the boys, Gavin, Colin, Liam, and Sean, who would like it if we called him Big Man Sean today. <laughs> they stayed close after college. At this stage, Linda came into the picture, who I've been shocked to learn was Stuart's first serious relationship. The boys tell me that they knew about a year in that Linda was the one. They know their steward, and they could see that he was completely smitten with Linda. That's what I noticed as well when I met Stuart at a New Year's in Italy. He was quiet and shy and kind and Scottish and pale <laughs> and completely in love with Linda. I noticed also that he made Linda joyful, serene, relaxed. He would tell me at a later date if she's happy unhappy. I was thrilled that she had found that loving state of peace with someone. In Italian, we call this harmonious state Venezia. Over the years, as Stuart and I have come to know each other, I've noticed the change in him. An increasing confidence, a more serene posture. Stuart has come out of his shell. Big man Sean also noted Linda brought out the best in Stuart. I sense in him the same state of Ben Exodus that I see in Linda. As they gravitate around each other, these two souls achieve a balance in their shared love. We gather here today to honor the love they bring to each other. We will now hear a sonnet by Pablo Neruda, read by Lodovica, one of Linda's friends.